200 years ago, our white forebears took off from the mother country, and 80 years later, 40,000 years after the original tenants, they arrived in what the locals don't call the Shire. Back then, there were far more trees than hippies, but that would change. Come on, let's get into it. I actually got called a herbal because I was living in Bellingen. I thought that was fabulous. Oh, Bellingen hippies. My name is Sandra Finn and my happy place is Finn Hill in Glenefa. Bellingen has a lovely alternative side. We wanted to be a bit more free of consumerism, which is why we came out here. It's always been a really harmonious, diverse community. It's like the old and the young, they've just mixed together as one, really. Blow-ins or settler folk, hippies or hipsters, kooky or cocky, all seem to have a passionate connection with this place they call home. My name's Hannah and my happy place is camping on the beach at Third Headland. Taking the kids down there where they could just roam and run around. You're under. It's just like my mind drifts. Maybe I should buy a boat and a tent. Yeah. There's no electricity, so I can't play any records. It's not really going to work. Sometimes you kind of get sick of going, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> then you get your average Yurunga Bogan who's just going for a walk with his missus in the afternoon sunlight. Having a stubby. Having a stubby, but all very relaxed and no one's got tickets on themselves. It's just a little daggy community that I love. Maybe it comes with age, but you, you learn to um, appreciate those places that aren't banging on about how special they are. My name is Crystal Tate, and my favourite place is down the main street of Ballingen. I can just go to town and I will get to catch up with meaningful, beautiful people. Yeah, I guess for me it's just this lovely extension of home. So what I've been asking everyone else today is um, where their happy place is. Here? Here? Yeah. It's just a great space to be. It's a great creative space. You meet great people and work with great people. The amount of people that we've met through this place, German, French, Spanish, they work a little bit through the day and come and join you for an ale or something in the afternoon. You know? Yeah. There's nothing like a hot day and just submersing yourself. The wharf at Lavender's Bridge was always a hot favourite. Don't ever come to Glenford, it's a terrible place. Definitely do not visit. It's called the promised land, but that's a humorous thing. It's like irony, isn't it? Yeah, irony. <laughs> I'd say Dorigo is great. It's like going back 30 years. It is a funny one, the, the Ballinger and Dorigo rivalry. It's, 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 it's on par with the rivalry between Sydney and Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kenton Shaw from um, Dorigo. I have seen a lot of Australia, and uh, this is it. This is the best part. When we can, we do a lot of bushwalking. It sort of irritates people, because I know my plant's really good, so I take a lot of photos. Oh, Dianella cerulea. Isn't that pretty? Hang on a sec. There's a certain view when you drive through Dorigo, there's a row upon row 